Now then guys, what's going on? This is Yorkie here and welcome back to another episode of the RTG and a massive one today. We go through the big month of December. Yes, December, which means we're very, very close to January where hopefully we'll be signing some players. We're certainly going to be spending some money. Now, if you didn't see the last episode, go back and watch it. There was another injury. It was actually a bit of a crazy episode. We scored the greatest goal that I will score this season, maybe in this series, and I didn't record it live. I forgot to hit the record button, which I've just double-checked now to make sure 100% that we have hit the record button. Now, a few things to clear up at the start of the episode. I'm going to be recording these more in blocks because of life circumstances at the moment. So when you ask questions, they will be answered, but it might not instantly be the video after because say i record this on whatever day you might not get this for a couple more days so i just want you to bear that in mind when i'm replying to comments that you leave that i think are noteworthy to reply in the video and not just in the comment section uh, a lot of the questions you guys ask are unbelievable a lot of the stuff you ask about the series what we should do maybe the direction we should go in is fantastic and i love the energy that we get in our comment section to be honest with you when i started youtube i thought i was gonna get a lot of dicks down there and you guys have been really nice, so let's hopefully keep it that way. When we're talking about being nice, if you do enjoy the video, make sure to smash a like on it as well. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. We need to get into this one because this is a busy, busy month of December. Now, we are currently sat top of the league. No, no, we're not. We are currently sat second, sorry. We got knocked off a top spot in the last episode. So, there is a cup game, two cup games in this one. Do we care about the cup? No. So, they're going to be simmed. And then I need to figure out which three league games we're going to play. I think we're going to play against Barrow because they're having a really good season. Uh, maybe Stevenage, Elliot Lee goes back get some revenge we'll see it, it will all depend where they are in the league there's mansfield in there twice so surely we play them at one point but let's kick it off by looking at this scout report it should be the english one and it is he's all right 68 to 92 potential we take them sean stevens he's not fantastic but we'll get him in the old academy and just see if he progresses to be anything i do tend to find though the 17 year olds don't usually really end up being very good they they just don't if we're being honest but it's that high ceiling that i like here with sean stevens which means we could maybe get something out of him now if we go to the de uh, development plan and try and figure out where he should be playing i'm i'm pretty positive he probably should be on the wing in fact i really agree with the position they've got him in but just because we want a little bit of an attribute boost i will train him to play the right side it does give him a bit of a boost the 50 rating that he's got at the minute is really the only stumbling block i'm going to kick this episode off with a sim against walsall with the mindset that we're going to be taking on barrow very soon um now we're going to stick with a free at the back there was a really good suggestion of use the free agency to sign a left back which i wish as an idiot i would have you know maybe thought about that i didn't but the free at the back has actually been a really good call and it has worked for us but yes we could have signed a free agent left back we've left it a little bit too late now and we're getting good results in this formation so i'm gonna stick with it but yeah we, we certainly should have probably gone on the free agency and picked up a left back i don't know why i didn't do it now the 54 rated left back is back but that's not enough to make me swap formation back again it's when Turai comes back that who i say his name wrong every time by the way but it's when he comes back that we'll start thinking about you know changing to having left back and right back again now we should get a win from this we beat warsaw when we played against them but you never know we do lose and we are out of the fa cup will i lose any sleep over that absolutely not the main focus this season of course as ever is just please get promoted that's all i want is promotion and the top three places get that promotion which makes it fairly easy for us now we can put a little bit of um a gap between ourselves and barrow if we can get a victory in this one this will be the starting 11 to take on barrow it's a strong starting 11 but you never know what's going to happen we had that game against olden in the end of the last episode i'm really hoping we can bounce back here because i don't want to start having really bad results you know i want us to be performing to the best of our ability and that last match was certainly not the best of our ability I must admit though i'm liking where the sliders are at at the minute we have had you know a, a really good time with them to be fair like there's been enough difficulty i'm not winning every game it's not been anything like the other saves where we've been able to kind of i don't know run through teams and i like that i, I really like that i think you can have really good results and then you can have a colchester or an oldham like we had in the last couple of episodes where it's no, not great. You know, I don't like losing. Don't get me wrong. I'm not like, oh, I love losing. But it does make it that little bit more realistic. That ball into Asante is brilliant. Asante's ball into Elliot List for 1-0. He should have been 1-0. He'll know it should have been 1-0. Asante's done brilliantly there to turn it around. 
can get anyone on the ball. That is too good of an opening opportunity there for us to have not taken that, to be 100% honest with you. Lund now switches feet. He scored recently, but that time wasn't to be. Look there. Pump that one out wide. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. McCalney. Look across. List. That's fantastic. Ashley Hunter. Good touch. Oh, what a save from the keeper. Oh, come on, ref. Why has he gone in so late on Asante there? Luckily, no injury. But come on, there's no need for that. Arrow getting stuck in there a little bit too much for my liking. Certainly not been an action-packed game here for us. But I don't care, do I? As long as we win... I don't care, Elliot List there's done really well. Finds Hunter again. Good position for Hunter again, and he just bends it beyond the post. He's got the ability to curl it from that position. It's Tyra number 10. Just how close is it, to be fair to him? It's, it's close. Oh, that's a lovely ball in. This might be 1-0. It is. Gordon scores it. And uh, so sloppy. So sloppy at the back there. When he just pulled all over the shot, pulled out of position. Not good enough from the boys. And we've dominated this game, and Barrow have taken the lead. Usually how we like to play. It's that move there. It's the pulling out of Vassell that just causes all the issues. If we're being honest, Vassell, as much as I want him to be good, has actually been a little bit of a weak link for us. He hasn't played fantastic. He has been error-prone, very error-prone, and it's caused me problems. It's been a bit of a, a stumbling block for us, although this might be a good opportunity now. Bolton across to Liston. Can't get it to him. Again, we're just being pushed into difficult positions where I'm struggling to find the back of the net. McCalney now has done really well to turn there inside. McCalney still McCalney. Oh, what an unbelievable solo game from McCalney. And he brings us right back into it just before halftime. So a really impactful goal. That's going to be massively important for me. And what a finish from McCalney. Most importantly, what a run. He's got great turn of pace. He showed it there. I'm not quite sure how he managed to find the back of the net, but I don't care. There's eight goals in 18 matches. His assists are through the roof as well. He's someone who we will obviously try and take as far as we can through the seasons. It's just unfortunate that we've got here and he's 28. If he was just that bit younger, I could see him being with us until the end of the series maybe. But, you know, unfortunately at 28, he's only going to make it so far. But... I am just happy that he's keeping us in this game. Nothing more than we deserve as well to, to get back into it. We were we were the better team, in my opinion. Calne into List. List pings that one out wide. Hunter thinks it over. Asante right at the start of the second half. That would have been the perfect way to start it, wouldn't it? So you want to collect that. Oh, he's pinged it forward. Oh, that's lovely. Lund plays it. McCalne. Oh, what a tackle. What a last ditch. No, 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 no. Get up, McCalney. Ref, get up, McCalney. Oh, my God. If he stays down, if he gets injured, that is a huge portion of our attacking that is going to just kill me. It's going to kill us. I, I need him back up on his feet, and I need him to run off this injury as quickly as possible. Whatever he does, it can't be a long one, as we're trying to make an absolute mess of this, as I'm worried about McCalney. Get it away, Vassell. Get it away. And we do in the end. <sighs> well, he's not run it off yet. I think the longer we keep him on the pitch, the less the injury is. So I'm going to keep him on for a little bit yet. Yeah. It does hinder us because obviously we've got an injured man on the pitch. But I just, I need him to get better and as quickly as possible. I think we're all just hoping right now, no matter what happens, that McCalney, this isn't going to be long term. This is only going to be a short injury. I think he might have been holding his shoulder, bruised shoulder. Would be lovely, wouldn't it, if we got that? Bolton now. Pings that one out wide to Watson. Watson, the substitution for McCalney. See how he gets on. London there. Won't win it. Asante will. It's lovely footwork. And that's a lovely ball back out to Watson, who finds Elliot List. Lovely footwork from him in the box. He's still got it, and he's, his turn was awful. I kind of overrun that. Asante. Go on, Elliot. List has collected it. It's a good run from Elliot List. Can he find the back of the net? Elliot List to win the game. Oh, save from the keeper. That should have been the winner. Let's be honest, lads. This should have been the winner. He's gone through several times this season and scored. I went for power, and I just couldn't find the back of the net. And that'll be it then. Full-time whistle blows. I think we probably deserved more, but a point against a team that's fourth in the league is definitely nothing to be stressed about. I'm just more frustrated on how the game played out 
we probably should have scored more. That real late chance for Elliot List, and of course the injury is worrying me. You can see there we dominated in terms of chances created. A little bit frustrating. Barrow hit us once on the break, boom. Uh, but we managed to come back. McAlney with a great goal. And that could be what we're missing now when we see how long he's injured for. Bruised elbow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Only a bruised elbow. Oh, for McAlley. Absolutely fantastic news. I was tempted to play this Mansfield game and then seeing that they're 23rd has just completely put me off the idea. Uh, so we are going to quick sim it. And as obviously, I still hope for a really good result. We're going to play Matt Smith. Uh, we'll just swap the team around a little bit, get that rotation in. McCallney, of course, should be back after this game. Hopefully, oh, he's injured. So, obviously, there's a bug here, right? So, say we wanted to quick sim with this team, we can't. It, it's it's infuriating. No matter what I do, it, I just, it is. Yeah, it's just infuriating. But anyway, McCallney should only be out for... I think one game. This will be the team that takes them on, though, and hopefully we get a victory. The sim didn't go well so far in this episode. It has been a little bit too kind to me. Elliot List for us, Atkins for them very early on in the game. Another draw, and it's becoming a little bit of an issue. We're not going to worry about it at this stage. Being knocked out of the cup really doesn't bother me, but a couple of draws in the league now and a defeat after that olden game, it's... A little bit stressful. I'm back to Batmansfield. So the EFL trophy this time round. Again, we don't really care. But it'd be nice if we could beat Mansfield considering how badly they're doing. And we do. It takes penalties again. Another draw. Another 1-1 one -one draw. Did take penalties in the end. But we get the victory. That's three back-to-back 1-1 -one -one draws. Although we played one of them. So I guess it doesn't really count. Very good news. Teray is going to be back very, very soon as he returns from injury. Of course, he'll still have the bandage. So we're probably looking at the end of December and then we'll have him back in the team. Got another scout report here from Scotland and Reese Galloway might actually be a really good player. We're going to adjust the budget and we're going to take a look at him instantly. Okay, Reese Galloway doesn't look that bad. Actually looks like someone who might be able to do something here in the team. We'll take a cheeky look and make sure he's playing in the right position. And yeah, he probably is actually. I mean, he can't shoot. So I think we'll actually drop him down to a centre mid because his shooting is non-existent uh, instead of him being a cam. But yeah, I think that passing level and the physicality he's got as well. Galloway could be the best guy we found so far. Fortunately, Lance Murphy, who I thought would be the best guy we found... Uh, he's slowly, slowly but surely probably not going to be good enough for us. It might be thinking ahead, but we need to think ahead, don't we? We need to start thinking about playing League One football and what level of player we're going to need in that league. But this will be the start 11 to take on Stevenage, 22nd in the league. Elliot List coming up against his old club. Obviously, he made the right choice leaving them to come to us. He's in a much better position now, but we need to keep picking up points, right? We've not had the greatest of performances recently, and we need to kind of put that right with this match. I'd like to get a really good win as well you know a good few goal win we had that against harrogate but didn't record it i keep mentioning it because i'm still angry about it two days later is recording that and i am still bitter about it now i did mention in the last episode for all that did actually hear it and catch it that i am having some throat issues and some tonsil issues uh there's all been checked it's all been looked at it's all undergoing i don't they don't know what the issue is at the current moment some days that it feels fine, other days it doesn't feel good. So that may lead to the episodes being a little bit more sporadic. Some days I wake up and my, you know, my throat's red raw and I can't really record. So that, that's all that is. Hopefully it's solved very soon. Uh, the doctors figure out what the issue is and we get the right kind of medication uh, in order to be in a good position. Because of course I, I need my mouth. I need it for this. I use it a lot. I talk far too much. And that's probably why I'm doing YouTube. As we nearly go 1-0 down, let's focus on the game and hopefully not conceding this early on. Now, can we turn the tide into our favour? McAlney's touch in the end was... Oh, that's just not a good pass, is it? That's just a poor pass from McAlney. I can't believe how quickly here that Steven Hitch have started. They're having a really bad season and they started unbelievably quick. Oh, this is awful. That was awful defending. Luckily, Shepard picked it up in the end. And look at the press they've got on me at the minute. And this is the thing. You have to beat the press. You have to beat the press. Elliot List. What can he do? Elliot List, surely, he didn't score in the last game. And he's not going to score in this one. He is going through a little bit of a dry spell. This feels like this might be a bit of a back and forth game. As that one's whipped in. And I don't like it. And what is the keeper doing? I, I mean, he couldn't have landed any more perfectly for Reed. 
and we have conceded first again. Ah, uh, just not good enough from the boys. These are 22nd in the league. We've just not woken up quick enough. And I'm really frustrated that Elliot List didn't score that goal a moment ago. I think Bolton gets to it. King then needs to come and claim it. I want to take a closer look. I actually don't think Bolton won the header. No, I'm not sure he did win the header. And then I think here, King just needs to come out and get to it. He doesn't. He leaves it. And it's teed up perfectly for Reed to take the lead. And do they deserve it? Yeah, they probably do. They've started and come out of the traps a lot quicker than us. We seem to be slow starting at the moment. And I'll tell you one thing. If Elliot List is going to keep missing opportunities like that, we're in trouble. That's lovely play. Lund. Back across. McCalney. Asante, surely. And there we go. We're right back in the lead. We are right back in the lead. We're right back in the game. 1-1. One, one. And let's go on now and punish them a little bit. McCalney. Oh, Elliot List would have been offside. It, it was just poorly timed, to be honest with you. I'd seen it at the wrong moment. Asante is not the greatest at playing a through ball pass. We're being ripped apart a little bit here, though. To the stage where... Oh, we've done really badly here. Taylor... He's going to play it across, surely. And that's... Oh, my God. Can you get more of a calamity at the back right now, lads? Can we become more of a calamity at the back? We need to just clear the football. We're a mess here, but we win it. Bolton wins it. Kicks it against his own man. It's not Bolton's fault. I have to pinpoint... I think it's Shepard there. And it's just not good enough. We're digging our own hole. We genuinely are just digging our own hole. All our good work has been on Dalton. And the back line at the moment are absolutely sinking us. We started so well, but I mean, it's not... Well, we started the season well, I should say, but it's not really coming together here at the moment. As the ref blows for half-time, pretty abysmal at the back. Need a better second half here. Absolutely do. We need a better second half from our better players. Our run of form at the moment is five games, four draws, and one loss. And this would make it six games... Without a win, two losses, and four draws. So, we really can't afford that. I need, I, we need two goals here, and we need to be a little bit smarter at the back and less easy to break down just like that. And he hits the post, and he'll get the follow-up. And I said we just haven't turned up in this game. And 22nd in the league, Steven Edge. Well, they're teaching us a lesson as he sips his tea. Nothing positive to say about this bat line today, is there? Absolutely nothing positive to say about this bat line in this match. McCalney now. What a tackle from Westbrook. McCalney stayed down again. He, he's constantly picking up these little niggling injuries right now for us. And it, it's torture for me. It is absolute torture because List is not having a good episode. And I, I need something. This could end up being four here. This really could. Good tackle in the end. Sante won't break because guess what? McCalney's still down and we know for a fact this is going to be a long injury. Twice in one episode is just a telltale sign, right? That he's slowly struggling far too much with injury. It's not a bad ball in. Not a bad ball in, Asante. Oh my God, what a save. What a save. What a penalty has been given. And I don't know what penalty he's been given for. And you know, lads, already, I'm shocking at these. We'll take a look at what it was given for in a second. Hopefully, go in. Just go in. There we go. Get the ball. Get the ball, Morris. I, I, all right, whatever. Just celebrate. I don't know why that penalty was given, though. You have to think maybe there was a foul here on Asante as he's coming in. And, okay, there, I mean, there is a high boot there, but that's the only thing I can think that it's been given. I love that the ball just smacks the goalkeeper in the face. He doesn't even save it. That does open the realms of possibility for a point here. I need to force him into a mistake at the moment. Oh, he's run right beyond him. I'm just trying to force them into some kind of mistake. Because if they just keep the football here, we lose. There we go. That's the mistake. And Mai has come on and actually been very good. Asante now pulls it back. And Mai. Oh, that's lovely. He's onside as well. Bolton, he's onside, Bolton, and there we go, it is going to be 3-3, free, free, and it's Bolton with the bloody goal for Salford City, and we shouldn't have to celebrate like this for this result against Stevenage, but I'm just happy to see the fight back from the lads, that penalty really spurred us on. I was really caught in two minds here as well, between pass it and shoot, and I thought, you know what, we're just going to hammer it as hard as I can, and he manages to find the back of the net near post. I don't want to say it, but there is... A tiny bit of time. If we can force another mistake like that. Elliot List wins it. Amai. Willock. List. This is nice. Kelly. Kelly still. 
Finds Morris. Oh, it's a poor touch from Morris. That was the moment. The whistle will be blown and it will finish 3-3. Not the ideal result that we want. In the last six games, we have drawn five times. Uh, not 1-1 in six, but that spirited fight back, that does make me happy. They need to be performing better at the back, though. I'll be happy to have a left back. Go back to our normal formation, I think, because... We are conceding a little bit. We do get pulled apart just purely because we don't have very good centre-backs and we have no pace in our centre-backs. But there is going to be some bad news from this. We knew that. There is going to be some bad news and it's going to be seven months. It's going to be seven months, lads. Connor McAlney, arguably the best player this season, if we're being honest, is injured for seven months. He is going to be out for the rest of the season. It's his second injury in this episode. And that will really just put his career on the back track now for us because he's 29. And when we get him back, it will be in League One. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it will be in League One. But nine goals and seven assists. What a cruel, cruel blow at this stage of the season for arguably our best player. Does that lead me instantly to think we need a cam? I, I, probably. And I don't think I've got many suggestions for cams, if we're being honest. I've got a lot of striker suggestions. I've got this lad, Ross Tierney, who I put on the list. Um, we're going to start scouting him. That is literally it. And this lad, who apparently, L Lado, Laho, Lado, I I'm guessing the H is silent. I don't know. These names are hard. Apparently, this guy grows to be very, very good and would be very cheap. So maybe we sign him and change him into a cam. He's, he's very quick. He's got good balance as well. We'd have to improve his on-ball ability, right? That's something that we would have to improve. But maybe this could be the lad, Lado, if I'm saying it correctly, who could be the correct move for Cam because we're really short in that position now. We've got two games left of the month and I decided we're going to go with a Port Vale one because Carlisle are right down there at the bottom. And we've played a lot of the bottom teams at the minute. Port Vale, middle of the pack, 10th at the moment. A lot of free at the backs in this league. Not expected. Pretty much full strength of us, of course, without McAlney. I'm um, trying Willock at Cam. See how he gets on there. We're probably going to have to figure out who's going to play at Cam. I think that's the signing now in January. That wasn't where we were going to go, but... Uh, the last position I probably would have picked up would have been Cam because McAlney. It feels sad saying his name now, doesn't it? McAlney. But uh, we need a Cam. So I think that's definitely the prime position. I, I'd like another centre-back. I'd like a centre-back with pace. We've scattered a few recently, but the budget is not permitting of us to do much. Uh, Rayleigh only one side. He's a short lad, didn't he, next at keeper? Uh, Rayleigh only one signing, if we're being honest. Elliot List is second. Um, in the goal scorers in the league. So, I mean, he's, he is having a good season. A couple of poor performances, but this episode has been poor from everyone, really. And to be honest, we've still scored goals. It's been defensively where we've been a little bit slack. And I felt like I'd improved quite a lot defensively on FIFA of, of recent, uh, but it doesn't feel like it in this episode, as we might even concede here very early if we don't figure out a way to stop this. Worrell. We're coming up against teams who are starting very quick at the moment against us. I need to stop them getting the ball in here. I just let teams work the ball a little bit too much like that. That is undoing me non-stop today. I don't know what's up with me, but that is absolutely ruining me. Their ability just to pass through me in the box and have an unbelievable pass accuracy is absolutely killing me in today's episode. I must admit, I'm quite welcoming of the difficulty at the moment. I, I really am because... We wanted this to be difficult. I don't want to win every game. I think it's a bit boring if you guys turn on the episode and you know I'm going to win every match. And you turn it on now and we might lose to someone who's doing awful in the league and then we'll play well against the better teams. Well saved, King. Uh, you know, at least there's that, that chance. I hate... And this isn't always the YouTuber's fault, right? We had it with, with Leipzig. You can't really help... You, you can't not play well, right? You can't fake how you're playing. You can't play badly on purpose. So if the game is, is too easy, then it's just simply too easy. Or if your team's too good, your team's too good. Like, you can't force being bad. Luckily, at the moment for us, this is working really well. Now, I need to, I need to figure out a way to get Asante to play as the highest overall rated player at the club. To actually feel like he's the highest overall rated player at the club. Let's be honest, this hasn't been a good season. This might be 1-0. This might be 1-0. Oh my god, what a save, King. Things that one out wide. Hunter. 
Back into Lund. Good touch, good shot, good goal. 1-0 Salford. Now, I do believe that probably would have been a penalty if that hadn't hit the back of the net anyway because of the tackle that happened after he shot. We'll get in. There we go. 1-0. We have the lead. Deserved? Maybe not. But does it matter? I don't mind winning games where we don't deserve the lead. He absolutely rockets that in the back of the net. Definitely fouled after as well. Like, I think that probably would have been a pen if it doesn't go in. For all that's lovely play. Stop him. No. No, no, no. What a save from King. Oh, my God. It was nearly 1-1 just like that. I don't feel confident defensively. I, I really don't. I don't feel confident defensively at all. I feel like at any moment, they're just going to ping this unbelievable pass in, which will be a goal for them. And that's what it feels like at any moment, just like that. Like, literally, they can pass right through me in the box. Well, I would love the halftime whistle so we could just get in at the half, right? Just get in at the half. And feel a little bit more comfortable. King with some great saves there towards the end of that one. We do have the lead, but it's a very slender one. I must be honest, the experiment of Willock at Cam has not gone very well. Let's be honest. Although, I say that and he's in. I say that and he's in. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I say that and he can't cleave through and scores. Manny Willock will make it 2-0 Salford. A little bit more comfortable. Good ball in, finally, from List. And, uh, yeah, we, we're a little bit more comfortable here now. I, I can't believe I was just about to say the experiment's not worked. And he goes through and scores. It was a little bit of right place, right time, though, from Willock. Like, let's be honest. It was a little bit of right place, right time. But I'll take that all day long. We haven't done too well with keeping clean sheets, to be fair. We just haven't. But we needed this win, didn't we? I still want more from Elliot List. But we needed this, and this might actually be a good run for List. Oh, this is a good run for List. Elliot List is bearing down on goal. Elliot List is bearing down on goal, and Asante will score it. And that's just where Elliot List's shooting boots are at at the moment. Asante's scoring the goals, not List. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happened. Have they changed his boots? Is he drinking a different supplement before the game? I don't know, but Asante will take the tap in. He hasn't scored many this year, but right place, right time. Elliot's got to score that for me, though. And after a really painful first half, we're 3-0 up and comfortable. Oh, God, I needed that. My ego has been absolutely crushed in today's episode, especially that Stevenage game. That, I doubt, gets us back on track with that result. I'm not sure how long we can keep the Matty Willock experiment up, though, let's be honest. Now, you will be wondering why my manager rating is shocking. Uh, they don't want us to do much this year, but I did not achieve the round of 16 in the FA Cup. So my plan is that will be hit because we will be promoting at least one Youth Academy player this year. Uh, the brand exposure, it might be hit. It's a weird one. So I am hoping that takes us up enough and maybe we can win the league. If I got sacked in season one, I would be very, very angry if we get promoted and I get sacked. I'm going to be 100% honest. I might throw the Xbox out of the window, but there we go. We're top of the league at the moment. We're going to sim this game coming up now, though, uh, against Carlisle. This will be the start 11. Going to go Watson at Cam and see how that goes. We're going to go Watson at Cam and see how that goes. Carlisle down at the bottom. So, realistically, should be a decent result for Salford. And it is a 2-0 victory. Lund and Hunter with the goals. We will take that all day long. Hunter's been really good for me. I'm actually uh, arguably the best winger in the team at the moment. So, that does see us still top on 49 points. But it is very close. There is still a lot of league to play. We're just over the halfway stage. Let's get this transfer window open. And next time round, we'll have a very busy month. Now, I probably... Well, maybe I won't. I will most likely split January into two months normally. But the problem with this is we don't have that much business to do. Maybe one signing of a cam. And that is it because the budget obviously is like non-existent. Now, maybe we get a couple of sales, but it, it's highly unlikely. And it does feel like a, a cam and that is it. Now, this is the current list. I'm still actually scouting players. It is ridiculous how long it takes when you're this low down. But this is the list that we have. Uh, at the moment it's a decent list of players there's some players in here that i would definitely really like to push for live it i would like that if we could get a loan deal in there i would be happy but when we've looked at loan deals in the past i haven't been able to get them done they they're just not like straight up we went for a few loans didn't we and i couldn't get them over the line i might try them again but my main mindset now is i need a cam 
I, I need a cam because Kenny is, uh, he, to be honest, McKelney, sorry, has been the prime creator, if we're being honest. With him missing, we are in trouble. Now, don't get me wrong, Elliot List has had a very good season for us. Gone up one, which is good to see. He's having a good year for us, but this wasn't a good episode for him. And it, it worries me when I look at goals. If I'm being honest with you, it really worries me when I look at goals. Top assists and second top goal scorer. So it's just, it's just worrying, right? It is just genuinely, it's worrying, lads. So we need a replacement that's going to bag goals. sade has gone up by six, by the way, by six. But he doesn't feel like a player that is arguably one of the best rated players in the league. But that is going to be it for this episode. January next time out, we've got our left back back and... I don't know, maybe we'll be a little bit more secure at the back. I don't remember conceding as many goals in the other formation. I, was Colchester in the old formation? I can't remember. But anyway, that's going to be it for this one. If you are new to the channel, make sure to slap that subscribe button. I appreciate the support as per usual, guys. Hopefully, you guys can keep this up for the RTG series. Uh, I hope that the throat is all fixed and sorted very soon so we can just pump out episode after episode after episode. I'd love if we could get to a stage where this is near enough daily. Take care. We'll see you in the next one.